The grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest 2021 will take place on May 22nd. Shall we talk about it? <laughs> Let's do that! Yes! The heavens have opened and I now see a rainbow leading all the way to Rotterdam and Eurovision 2021. Coronavirus may have clouded our 2020 vision, but we now know the grand final will take place on the 22nd of May with the first semi-final on the 18th and the second semi-final on the 20th. Yes! As previously confirmed, it will take place in the Rotterdam Ahoy. It, in more recent days, has been used as a temporary hospital medical facility for people recovering from coronavirus. But in 2021, it will be back to the celebratory spirit, we hope. Now, my first instinct whenever there is big news is to head to the Weebie Blogs Instagram and read the comments section. And you guys have been chatting up a storm. MZW Daily, that's for Mons Zelma Love Daily, um, is all sorts of excited. This person writes, please, can we be in 2021 already? Celebrate emoji. <laughs> Double party time with Eurovision next year to get revenge on 2020. Yes. There are, of course, lots of questions, and Hiroyuki Benjamin asks, do you guys think the event will take place in full capacity without masks required? Now, it's a very good question, and obviously the pandemic is very unpredictable. If we learned anything in 2020, is that you really can't predict the future when it comes to coronavirus. However, things are moving in a positive direction. Certainly today in Europe, borders are reopening. In England, people are out shopping on the streets for the first time in three months. In France, people are now eating inside restaurants as opposed to just outside. So there's lots of positive developments, but at the same time, you know, in recent days, I think Beijing has recorded 79 new cases of coronavirus. That's after going for two months without having a locally transmitted case. So now parts of that city are un under lockdown again. So the point is, this is unpredictable. And the producers of Eurovision 2021 are well aware of that fact. And ahead of Eurovision Europe shine a light back on May 16th, we spoke with executive producer Sitza Bakker, who made it clear that they are exploring all options about how they can make this show happen. This year, this, the, the cancellation came uh, uh, came as a, a shock surprise. Uh, for next year, I think we all, not only as host broadcaster, but also as participating broadcasters, uh, EBU uh, contestants, and the fans, we have to be prepared for whatever may come. And uh, uh, we have time to do that. And he reiterated these thoughts today. In a statement, he said, we now have a year to explore all scenarios in detail with the parties involved and to make the shows happen regardless of the circumstances. With adjustments, if necessary, we still aim high. So in short, he is saying they are going to slay, but with public health in mind. Slay, but with public health in mind. <laughs> that is the way forward in 2021. We reported recently that the organizers of the Eurovision Song Contest have joined a larger body which is exploring how to make COVID proof events in the future. They'll be exchanging all sorts of ideas. You know, one theory people have been talking about is maybe having seats, empty seats between people, having fewer people, spacing people out. It's obviously too hard, too early to know. Who knows? Maybe there'll be a vaccine in the next year, maybe there won't. Long story short is they are crossing their T's and dotting their I's and they will be ready no matter what. Mr. Bakker also confirmed that the 2020 stage will come to life in 2021. It, of course, was designed by Florian Vieter. It looks absolutely amazing, honors the bridges, the horizons of the Netherlands. This is what Sitsa had to say. The stage will be carried over to next year because that was already prepared. Apart from that, a lot depends on what is possible at the time, on the availability of all those involved, and on what fits the spirit of 2021. Now, the stage will still be there, but what about the slogan, the theme, the interval acts, the host? It is all a little bit up in the air, and they're obviously going to have to wait as the situation develops to see who's available and also to see what's appropriate given the new circumstances. But we do know that Ms. Edzilia Rambly, Chantel, and Jan Smith are most likely to be the host ahead of Europe Shine a Light. This is what Edzilia had to say. And do we know yet, is Edzilia Rambly hosting the next edition of Eurovision? Yes! <laughs> Even if they don't want to, I will be there! <laughs> yes, Chantal, me and Jan, 
um, they they told everyone already that that they will keep Shanggu and they will uh, love to work with me and Chantal and Yan. So I I think I will be there. Now, as all of you know, people who bought tickets for the Eurovision Song Contest 2020 can roll their tickets over to 2021. Previously, there was a short window where if you wanted to cancel your tickets and get a refund, you could do that. And I believe only 4% of people actually canceled the tickets because there is huge enthusiasm to roll that over and go next year instead. Of course, now that the dates have been confirmed for 2021, there may be more people who suddenly can't go because of weddings, commitments, exams, whatever. So there is a new window of opportunity for these people to cancel their tickets. That is now open and will close on June 29th. Yes, June 29th at 2359 CEST. And then depending on how things pan out, if lots of people cancel, maybe more tickets will become available. It's really early, who knows? In any case, that is the exciting news out of Eurovision for today. You finally have dates so you can start planning your adventure in Rotterdam. This is going to happen. Are you excited? Can you make it? Are you holding out for tickets? Let us know here on Weebly Vlogs. Oh, also, you know, look into your crystal ball. How do you see the show taking shape? Will it be socially distanced? Will it be remote? Will it be a packed arena? <laughs> Let us know your thoughts down below. That's all from me. We'll see you later.